Hello students, welcome to our class of database management system or DBMS. This is our introductory class about DBMS where we are going to learn what is actually a DBMS and how it works and what are the different components that are uses to interact with any DBMS system. Now before I go in detail, please see this image where we can see how actually a DBMS works. See a DBMS is divided in two part. One is MS, another one is DB. DB means database and MS means management system. Now what is a database? Database a shared collection of logically related data and a description of this data designed to meet the information needs of an organization. Now this is uh, a textbook definition. Now you can imagine a database as the real data or the data that you want to store. Now you may say that is it a database or uh, the data in a database are like a file. Now to some extent it is true and to some extent it is not. Now in our next classes we will differentiate how a database is not same as a conventional file organization. Now for simplicity sake you can consider like this that you have some data that you want to store somewhere in your secondary disk and that data is your database that means that stored data is your database now i'm again telling you this is not the actual definition or actual definition is already given there now for the simplicity sake you can say that stored data are the database now let's say this is my hard disk or any other secondary disk where i am storing my data so this is my actual db or the database now this part that is the dbms part are provided by different vendor softwares like oracle or mysql or sqlite or something like that they provide one management system or one software that we can use to manipulate the data within this db or the database now to interact with this ms part or the dbms part we can use any language okay now any uh, language or maybe any uh, software now it depends uh, what level we are working on maybe we are one application program developer or maybe we are some sql programmer now i am coming in detail what are this now uh, what is uh, an application program a program that interact with the database by issuing an appropriate request typically an SQL statement to the DBMS yes what is DBMS a software uh, system that enable user to define create manipulate and control access to the database okay now see I am in this level you want me who whoever is using this database is in this level and using our SQL language we can interact with this DB part through the help of this DBMS where I can issue some SQL commands that will come to my MS MS will translate it in actual DB command and then after execution or manipulation that command over this db or the database it will give me back in uh, the output in my output screen now uh, the database so we can say that is a software that interact with the user uh, with the app, uh, application program uh, and the database it allow the users to define the database usually through a data definition language now what is a data definition language uh, data, de data definition language or DDL allow the user to specify the data type and the structure and the constant so that means the type of data <coughs> how you can store the data and everything that means the uh, uh, structure of your data will be defined by this DDL 
whereas you can use a data manipulation language or a DML uh, most of the DML and the DDL are written on SQL are used to manipulate the data. So when you want to define the data, that is the, how your data will be stored, what will be the structure, what will be the different fields and everything, you will use a DDL or data definition language and when you are retrieving back your data from the database, you are actually using the DML. Okay. On the next class, we'll uh, going to uh, say in more detail about what is a database. Okay, thank you.